Hello. Today we are going to um, add music to an animation on an avatar. So you've got an avatar already opened up here, and I downloaded this wiggle wiggle thing, and it seems okay. But me being, you know, old and stuff, you know, I prefer s stuff I'm familiar with. So I've got a Team Skull edit of it here. This is basically the Team Skull theme song, and these are two different versions of the animation that I've created, but we will be using this one, which I just called Team Skull. It's basically just a one minute cut of the original animation. Uh, so basically, um, I guess first we need to make sure we've got the asset on here. So usually you can create an empty object, but you might as well create an audio source. We're gonna give it a name. I like to give it a name relevant to um, I think, but we'll call, we'll add music to the end there. Um, audio source seems pretty straightforward. There's your audio clip, which you drop there. I'm choosing OGG, but MP3 is fine if you're going to play once. Most of this stuff is fine. You want to play on awake. Uh, if you make the value lower, then this will make it louder than other things. Um, other audio sources, I just leave it at the middle there. It's a choice. Spatial blend, you always go up to 3D because when it's 2D, um, there isn't any fade off, and with 3D, it um, will fade off with the distance. So it kind of makes it where people who want to hear your music can hear a quieter version, get closer to hear better, or people who find it too loud can get away from it. I find that important. But this does not sound like something we want, nor this, because those look like they. Um, add distortions to it, you know? We want people to hear the music as it is. Um, you, you got a lot of options for what you can do here, but I, I prefer linear roll off. roll off. I don't know if min distance one or zero makes a difference, but that max distance, you probably want to bring down 500, I think would be 500 meters, which is pretty far. Um, I tend to go for something around in the range of 10 to 20 myself. I'll think I'll do 15 for this one because it's a bit of a presentation. Ten would be kind of a challenge, something you're doing for one person. That that's how I think of them. You may you can play around with the distances and find um, things that work for you. And all of that seems pretty straightforward. Here's the thing that's probably not. Um, you do want the VRC. It's the um, sound. Unless audio, no, Sp spatial audio source, that's it. Ah, oh, jeez, I thought I reviewed this stuff before I fired it up. So, VRChat needs this, and it will add this to your audio sources if you haven't already. And the reason you want to add it in advance is because under advanced options here, you have your audio, use audio source volume. If you do not check this, then it will always do what um, VRChat thinks is best. Which is okay for your avatar making a little noise, but especially for something like music trying to present something, you want your audio to be clear. Uh, so the only other thing we need to do is turn this off by default. We have play on awake checked. This means that when this gets turned on, it will automatically play. And then you want it off so that it's not playing by default. Um, we don't want any of these other options, so that's pretty much the basic setup we need to get the audio there. Um, next, we have to attach the audio to the animation, or rather, we have to make it where the animation turns it on. Now, I just, by habit, put things under armature, but it does not have to be there. But we do that first because when you're working with animations, it is best to always work on a copy of your avatar. So what I did there is I did a Troll G, which is under here, duplicate, and I created a duplicate of my edgy Ukon, and that's the one that is visible. The other one is there, hidden, but we only want to interact with this one. You have a couple of ways you can um, get the animation on there to work with. If you, for example, drop this on there, so that's the wrong thing. Uh, as you can see, it got attached to the body and not to the um, not to the avatar itself. In fact, if we go here under body, we might have an animator that probably was not there before. We can, yeah. So it's probably not 
painful to leave, or it's probably not too bad to leave it there. But yeah, what we actually wanted is that. As you can see, that one, Edgy Ukon 1 controller. So this created an animation controller, and it's really simple. It's just when your animation, when the animator, her, yeah, when the animator runs the controller, just sends it to the animation team school and it plays, and that's that. There's no loops, it doesn't go anywhere else. Um, but we're going to do something slightly different. You know, that's kind of your default way to do it. My preference is to actually create an, a, a controller for testing. So if you take a look at this, you can see it actually has two states. I create a start state, and I have this special motion I call idle, which is basically 20 frames of idleness, and it's a 60 frame per second animation or something. So it's very short, that, that would only be a third of a second, but I've found that when it comes to watching music and making sure the timing looks right for me, having a little animation that plays first is good, and this is just one I created where the character is just idly standing there. You won't even notice them when I play it. And then it flows here to this animation, which has no motion in there right now, so we are going to go down to our little Team Skull, place Team Skull in here, so that when it plays, Idle it will then follow up with Team Skull. And then for our Edgy Ukon, you take this controller, which you normally leave empty, and you put the little test animator in there. All right, that's a lot of work, but hopefully you were able to follow it, or you have the ability to re um, visit this um, video for anything that you might have missed. But again, the goal there is I create the animation controller because I find that I can evaluate the smoothness of the animation when I press play up here when it plays a little thing sh and then plays my thing. So we select the Edgy Ukon and we can go to animation. Um, as you can see by default it selects my idle which is just again two frames actually that's 16 sixtieths of a second it's very short and you can see here when I select it they're just standing there. It's a really neat thing to have uh, but I did have to construct it myself. So this is the actual animation that we're focusing on, Team Skull, and you can see there's a bunch of animation data there. Oh look, it's also doing um, skin mesh renders of some sort. Don't even know which um, meshes these are, but it looks like it's playing with blink, blink happy, wink, sadness. So it's interesting that those are already there. Those are pretty common um, skin mesh render so I guess we're just gonna leave that and we're just gonna add our property so what we have to do is we have to find the team school music that we added go to our little is active here and add it you can see it got added right there and all we have to do is on this first frame here check it why do we have the body selected that's weird and you can see it just stays on the whole time and there's automatically a frame at the very end that where it turns off that's not too important usually take it with what you want but that's really all you need to do to get that audio on there I'd say that came pretty. That came out pretty good, which basically means, you know, we can delete our little um, test edgy Ukon, turn the original back on, and then all we have to do is, you know, put this in one of the emote slots. Uh, since I have not put any on this avatar yet, we'll just put it there under emote one, and 
save this. Now, I'm not quite going to finish there. You know, at this point, this is ready to upload. It's going to have my little team school dance. But I'm here to also give you some good um, pointers. So, you know, this is kind of neat to have. You can see here I have a collection of um, audible um, custom animations. In order to make these portable, you can take your Team School Music audio source there and drop it here, and that creates a prefab for you. The advantage of that is if you want to add it to somebody else, let's go and load up some Shaggy. Oh yeah, it's uh, we probably want to save because now that turned into a prefab, we might as well save it. <coughs> so we got Shaggy here asserting his dominance, and we can do the same general thing where you know this is an old school style way I would set stuff up but you can open Shaggy's armature and you can take your team skull prefab and drop it in the armature right there and then you could um I don't think I have him set up with a test animation so all I would have to do is just go to his override and I could choose one of these emotes and drop um, Team Skull in there. And it, uh, because I set the animation to turn on the audio source and this allows me to just drop it on there without modifying it, it works pretty quickly. Let's actually, you know, go through the motions of, yeah, let's just drop it on here. Let's, um, great, empty. Uh, make transition here. Uh, I guess it doesn't allow me to delete it that way, so I. Hmm. Hmm. That's right. You can go here. Hmm. You might not have to select it. And I'm going to select my little idol. Uh, let's just see how this works. perfectly fine. Uh, I do of course don't want to leave this in my animation folder so yeah the idea would be that if I wanted to upload this for Shaggy all I have to do is drop Team School on there because now he has Team School music. Alright that covers everything I wanted to show in this video. Um, I do hope to provide future videos but this one just kind of assumes that you either know how to create find, modify, or just obtain whatever assets you need. And it's pretty common for you to go online and, for example, find Wiggle Wiggle with the full dance and the full song. And the only reason that's usually not sufficient is just because um, it's three and a half minutes long almost, like you can see down there. And the VR chat emotes will stop after a minute no matter what, right now. But you know, I, again, hope to help cover how to kind of throw more custom things together.